Hi everyone, it's Luke from Makers Empire. Thanks for joining me. Here at Makers Empire, we make a great 3D printing learning program for K-8 schools. Uh, it includes software, lesson plans, a teacher's dashboard, professional development and analytics. Today, I'm going to be explaining how a 3D printer works and some of the terminology that's around the system of 3D printing. A 3D printer is very much like a computer-controlled hot glue gun. It takes this material called filament heats it until it's liquid in a hot end and squirts it out through a nozzle at the bottom of that hot end. The bed or platform of the printer is the large flat area onto which your objects will be printed. On this particular printer, the bed or platform is a large aluminium piece with locking screws in it. On here, underneath those screws, we install a build plate for each print job. While the printer is running, it'll draw the cross section of your object as individual slices or layers. Every time the printer finishes a slice or layer, the nozzle and the platform move slightly further apart. On this particular printer, the nozzle stays at the same vertical position and the bed moves down as the print progresses. When setting up a printer, we may need to retract the filament. This is the action of taking the filament out of the nozzle and hot end and can be done through the printer software. When putting filament into the 3D printer, we need to extrude the filament. This is the action of putting plastic through the hot end and nozzle and can again be done through the printer software. With this printer, you can choose whether or not to print with a raft. A raft is a temporary base on which your 3D printed object sits on top of. These are created automatically by the software and you'll need to break them off once your object has finished printing. Sometimes a 3D model may have overhangs. These are a part of the model that are at such an angle that they wouldn't work without support material. Support material is another temporary piece that gets printed alongside your 3D print while it cools. On the inside of a 3D print is what's called infill. Infill is a honeycomb structure that gives your part some strength while not using a lot of filament. You can adjust how much you want inside of your 3D print through the printer software. To make a 3D printer work, you'll need a slicer. A slicer is a 3D software that takes models or STL files and slices them into hundreds of layers ready for 3D printing. This information is then sent to the printer as G-code. The printer reads all of the G-code and then uses the three axes of movement to print your object. Now you know how a 3D printer works. Check out some of our other videos to learn how to use the 3D printer. I'm Luke for Makers Empire, thanks for joining me. If you'd like more information about Makers Empire and our 3D printing learning program for K-8 schools, check the video description below. If you have any questions or requests, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below.